But interesting enough, Cup of Water taking out Chop Steezy. Also known as Beer Man over in Loser's Bracket. I'm checking that out right now. Oh! Let's say. Damn, okay. Yeah, let's go Cup. Cup looking pretty good today. Chop Steezy. Yeah. The, the modern day form of Beer Man. Yeah, that's right. Which I was the former modern day form of like Lamb Chops or whatever he yeah, used to be back in the day. I think it was Lamb Chops, yeah. And that's, then I, that's pretty dope that he's out here today. Yeah, I love seeing that. I haven't seen his name in a while either. There's a lot of names I just like, oh shit, I didn't know they were still around or like still active at least. Coming out over here from Tri State, just mad love. And I also see that B Bat's also still in bracket, beating Jesse game five, so he'll be moving along too. Damn. So all chat's staying in it. But anyway, let's get over to this. Yeah, Skurzo, someone, you know, very technical. We're going to see a lot of like Fox tech coming out. Very fast button presser. Curious to see how he kind of uh -huh. does against Bonfire. But Bonfire, you know, even right back up too. I think as we have come to see Fox just pretty much body Sheik, I think there's a lot of Sheiks who really don't look forward to this matchup. But, of course, if you have really clean tech chasing and, and other aspects of it from the Sheik side, you can definitely compete. I'm looking forward to seeing what Skurzo is all about. I think we may have commentated him before, but, you know, I, it was the only time I saw him. Yeah, it's been a while too, so definitely want to see what he's been doing more so in recent months. You know, right now, I like just playing the platform game a little bit, kind of playing around Bonfire, because you know, Bonfire is definitely someone who loves using platforms too. But it does a fair share in neutral. And popping up Bonfire, doesn't quite finish it. Almost kind of try to get in with the mix up there, but no, she eats that one. The uh, decision to up air as the platform tech chase earlier on, it allowed for a lot of sharking that almost took the stock there. I liked it, didn't quite turn it fully into the stock, but I'm going to look out for more stuff like that, because I feel like Fox sh sharking the Sheik. I mean, how does she come down? Yeah, it's really tough too, because like I don't know what she can really do, aside from like trying fast fall maybe, because like downer takes a little bit of time to come out. So you can't really intercept that with that, because right. you just you leave yourself open if you miss. Clean shine out of shield a second ago. Ooh, this is the <laughs> tilt right there. I, I respect the tilt to try and get a call yeah. out there, but not not quite. It was patience into the F tilt, the angled F tilt. Ooh, ooh now pops it up. Not able to react out of that though. Ooh. I love that use of the single hit fair too to kind of pop off around to the platform and let to that reset. I appreciated the gun as someone that mentioned running and gunning earlier. I mean, not that he's like shooting a lot of laser, but there was like a laser hit, the down tilt. Uh, it's just every little bit of percent counts and Fox just moves so much quicker. Even this laser usage, like if the, if the Sheik is going to be a tiny bit campy, you can tack on a lot of percent. Yeah, just get a little extra bit. Like there's nothing wrong with like, you know, if, if you're far away. Do an extra percent. It can matter a lot. I remember like Left and talk about that back in like I think I Left and Armada made a video about that kind of stuff back in the day too. I mean, like lasers can be super crucial, like the smallest weights and stuff like that. Who gets burned? That's okay. Still, we'll take the percent, but he might be yeah, whole bunch. I respect. I get getting the extra percent, but when you're on last stock, you'd be kind of like leaving yourself open for Bonfire to kind of wrap it up. Here's my guess. He thought he would make it onto the stage with yeah. that like double jump back no, here. Maybe like a no impact laser land or something like that. Maybe. Yeah. But yeah. I, you know, I don't want to question that kind of decision making, but I'm not the player, so who am I to say? <laughs> Sometimes you can get away with, you know, falling down and then sweet spotting the upbeat, but at a certain level, the player is just going to react to the fact that you fell so low and just grab ledge. Yeah, which Bonfire did there. It was in right. that first game. I feel like being behind some of that game, too, I feel like. Oh, I love that use of up air, too. Like a yeah, there's up. been some really pretty up airs so far. And like yeah, Loft doing a lot of like opting for forward air a little bit too. The more than I see Fox usually go for it. But if Skurs has made pretty decent use of it, and he's used to pop bonfire out to the other side, or like extend a combo in a way. But there's a tried and true Damn. sheet combo, but ooh, living too, great DI. Not, not a kill. Not quite, but I think like a up smash probably will. Or like another up air. No jump. The laser? I mean no the, the needle, sorry. <laughs> really nice angle. Ooh, misses the shine at the ledge. Bonfire just making it back. Off the for ledge was good there. And ooh, oh, oh went for that nair big time. And it's probably gonna eat a stock uh, for it. Yeah. Like, I'm a Scurzo fan. I'm I'm digging it. Like the decision making, very unique from what you see like other foxes usually go for. Right. Like, always finding ways to like kind of extend a combo island a little bit of like up. Uh, what's the word? Up a little bit of spice to it, you know? Yeah. Got grabbed after connecting a little bit of the drill. Mm -hmm. Didn't yep. eat too much of a punish. We got even stocks again. What's yeah. the option off the invuln? Let's see. Bonfire took a little bit of time, but ooh, that invincibility gone. And she she did manage to land a fair there mm -hmm. in a situation where it was kind of a trade, but it benefited her being at such low percent. 
Yeah, better than nothing, you know? Ooh, shield great. Poking. Great use downer to the shield poke, as you said. Esker's about a corner, and... Ooh, get a little bit of pressure, too. Officer up bear, not quite gonna kill, but definitely getting to that point where, like, a, a, like a solid area will definitely wrap it up. Mm. So, there was a kill to be had. Bonfire a tiny bit uh, conservative. Skurzo able to make it back, but now fighting for his life again. Mm -hmm. Finds stage, and now has stage. If that rising there, oh. over it again! The commitment, and eats, the, and eats another ledge hog. Yeah, I, it might be like a question of like, you know, maybe <laughs> they're just riding it too hard. You know, I, I appreciate like the style for it, but like, you know, it's like twice now where they've kind of gone off and like kind of suffered for it a little bit. This That time more so than the first time. I think, like, let's say this was, let's say he had a coach or something. I feel like the coach would say after the set, I think you're being a little bit overzealous with yeah. some of the, the nair reads on the edge guards. Because it's not like Fox struggles if you let Sheik get back on stage. You can just still kill her. Yeah, but it's a matter of like the Sheik being able to kind of react after the guy. Right, they're not going to make it back because they went too far down the, on the command. Getting a little bit, as I like to say, overzealous 5,000. So, <laughs> yeah. We always got to yeah. shout him out anytime yeah. the word gets used. Yeah, exactly. You, you, you kind of can't ignore it, you know? I think this is no jump. Ooh, popping! Yeah, Bonfire and just can't find a way back down. As you're saying earlier, what could what could Sheik really do here? Those but, were man. basically like like tipper up airs, like four in a row, getting the second hit only. Looking like that was Marth. pretty sick. Yeah, looking like Marth with that. Timing it while Sheik is in the magnifying glass for good parts of that. Mm -hmm. So I, I appreciated that. Yeah, some good awareness on Skurz. I just kind of like know where Sheik's gonna be. It kind of like coming from like playing the game so much out in the Midwest, and you know Skurz though. More of a lead this one, of course. Last game they were up for a lot of it, but eventually those mistakes coming in at the end. See if they right. can kind of adjust to it compared to what happened in the first game. Bonfire might be able to kind of change change it around, wow. make it even. Let's go up for the ledge. Ooh, that needle sent him right back to the ledge too. Bonfire known to utilize that nair out of shield against certain options. Always got to be wary of that. Absolutely. Waits out the get up attack. Ooh, the back throw. Ooh, and it leads to a re grab. Love that. Some of these resets, some of the uh, like the the like fishing nares on the edge guards. I'm liking the style of Skurzo. Yeah, like a very unique as you kind of been seeing. You, know, you don't see a lot of these options. I feel like too often, you know. And Skurzo's going to be able to take that one and even the set right back up. Because we're seeing like a lot of you know the nair to go off. Sure, it might not be working, but it's an idea at least. And like you know, see that some of the and tilts on some of the platforms it, too. I like that even if it doesn't work, it is still something that bonfire has to keep in mind yeah exactly because like, like if you're playing like someone's like a, like a cup of water it's gonna be like a whole different story but you'd expect when they're off stage you know and you got someone like skirzo coming in here like some, some more unique style like you know oh there's the more that laser we talked about earlier too getting like a quick like three lasers in in that instance if i'm not mistaken bonfire burned her double jump and there maybe could have been a kill to be had so i would have liked to see that i think but it's always good to get some laser percentage Especially when it's like basically free and there's nothing they can do about it because they're in a bad position. And they're like fall and they're kind of tumbling down, so it's like right. what can they really do? Yeah, Bonfire, ooh. That down tilt gonna extend that combo oh, is beautiful. Super nice. And taking another tilt there as the punish on the up B lag. A jab turnaround tilt? Oh my god, Skirzo. And he's he's going for those tilts again, going for a down tilt then, but Bonfire getting a little bit back up. Dude, got, another got one. Back off. But yeah, he's going for it. Wave shot. Ooh, Ooh, I think you might expect it. Probably more of a flub. I think you want to get enough smash potentially. Yeah, it was probably a tech flub. Mm -hmm. Unless he's just still being super stylish and he wanted like a something yeah. that a wasn't the standard. Like, like, like I had a hit stun jump and then call it off and up there. That would have been like some nutty stuff. I'm not sure if I'm been able to do that. Another universe had happened. We're probably popping off for it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Always like love those kind of thoughts. Ooh, okay, hold on. Scars are going to keep this train going. Okay, I like this. Get that tech chase going. Both fairs, both fairs connecting that extra percent, making Not, you, making such good utilization that we've been seeing for forward air. I feel like we've been seeing like all of Fox's moves represented in this set so far, and that's always cool. Yeah, like down, we've seen a lot of down tilt combo extenders. We've seen forward air a lot. There's an up, we've seen plenty of up airs. <laughs> there like, was, there was the up angled F tilt like on the right platform of yeah. a stage earlier. There's yeah. the there. Yeah, there it is, and it finally gets it all that time later. I think that's the third time's the charm in that instance too. And ooh, Skurzo looking for, for game three. If a commanding lead right now. No Bonfire longer. winning that air to air, taking the first stock, you know, mm -hmm. climbing back into it. Accidental chain, but Bonfire retreats a little bit for any, for any punish. Full 17 off the needles. Mm -hmm. 
It's, you take it. Cheeky tilts. Yeah, the good old cheeky. Love to see it. Ooh, popping him off. With a clink. Oh. Still fighting in the trenches right now. Bonfire is find fi finding a way back in. So, remember how I said it's going to be kind of a slobber knocker? Yeah. I partly said that just because of the way I know how Bonfire likes to play. Like right there, they were both like clanking hitboxes, and then she throws out like two down smashes. It's like, nah, I'm going to... I'm gonna win this little skirmish. Yeah, she's gets she's a she's a scrapper. She loves to scrap, especially like in a matchup like that. And having like played her in Floaty, so she's no she's definitely like not afraid to like play a little more pass. But in a matchup like this, gets who's like someone who's always in your face, like Skurzo. Yeah, you know, she's down to get a little down and dirty if she needs to. Going to Dreamland for this one, so Skurzo playing with more space. I'm curious to see, like you know, he has more of like a big stage to work with. But no bonfire. I knew she probably doesn't mind this mat this matchup on this stage. So curious to see how this one kind of goes. Ooh, keep Ooh. Them getting, getting full use of these drills too. Like all three getting such good percent. This is what I'm talking about with uh, um, sorry, I, I got distracted. Can't remember what I was gonna say. Moving on. Yeah, it's it, okay. Don't wanna dwell on it, you know. It looked like for a second Skurzo had positional advantage. There was a nice roll that gave Bonfire the stage. Now she's working on. Oh wow, the edge cancel. The power of a good edge cancel, man. It's beautiful because like you just be able to react. It's such a reversal opportunity because you can go off and like get like a quick like aerial. It's kind of like oh they maybe they weren't expecting it at all. And there's that counteract shine, not a critical hit shine as you would think because you know Bonfire's still alive, but getting that extra sense still. Ooh, Bonfire going off gets the burn though. That should be a good old chic tried and true, taking the hair of that one. Also, say shouts to Alana for supplying some water. That's what was going on during that little period. Yes, much love for the H2O always. Yeah, but today, this is like a go. Keep an eye on us all day. I make sure to keep my water. I gotta stay hydrated for, like, for talking for this long on commentary. Right. So there, I know that Sheik does have gimps off of throws off stage, but I guess, you know, an air dodge recovery is an option to try and avoid the gimp. Then, of course, it's still risky, but worked out for Skurzo there. Absolutely. Ooh, they get up attack too, but oh, went for it a little bit right there. Again, maybe a little overzealous, but still kind of keeping it together. I like how he has the angle in the pocket, like ready to back up the option that didn't work out. Yeah. Because he finds himself up being from below the ledge. That's like always risky, but if you have that tight angle, I think the Mewtwo King angle we refer to it as, mm -hmm. um, then you can kind of make it tough for your opponent to punish you. Yeah, because like, when you have an angle like that, it's really hard to, yeah, it's like hard to punish. So it's like, not much Bonfire can really do. It's like, like yo, all right, they're going to grab the ledge. I got to see, prepare for what happens after, you know? And does get the cheeky laser. Bonfire avoiding it, but still, you know, Bonfire bringing it back. Still up 77% on this stock. And there's his wow. down smash. Send a Bonfire off, but no, she does make it back. I would have liked to see him grab the ledge, but he's still working on the punish here. Bonfire able to get out. We reset to true neutral there. One or two fires of the gun. A little bit. He's used to tilt again with a little bit of shield pressure. Ooh, I think maybe wanted to. Maybe so nice. Sorry. No, it's okay. Don't want <laughs> Happens. Ooh, the nearby the ledge pop popping her off. Goes for the ledge. All right, yeah, hold the ledge. All you got to do. Classic. Last stock potentially of the set for Bonfire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, this one come out quick. I didn't realize that it was already ledge movement. There was like kind of an edge cancel off the right side of the top flat there. The way Bonfire moved around, that was cheeky. Buffer using the platforms too. You know, when you're down a little bit and you know Skurzo's in at 69%, now now at 80. You definitely want to be find the right moment. Bonfire just moving along. Skurzo not really often the calling out Bonfire on the platform, which I like. Give me a little bit of respect. I feel like she took a second there and just like slowed it down. She was on the top platform, and then maybe Skurzo got a tiny bit antsy and wanted to like go fishing. Yeah. And it worked out for Bonfire. Even now, like she went a second to go to the top platform, but now is opting to fight a little bit more. Top plat again. Oh, so this is now looking like more of a scrap as you saw in the previous games too. Both kind of exchanging moves. Both have been playing really good defense, and I say that as Bomber gets popped over. There's, that, there's, that, a... there's that laser again. Beautiful oh. wall tech though. And the poof connects. Fantastic up B there to Great kind of tech. call it out. It resulted in him at the ledge with in invincibility, like and off then, of that, that clutch tech. 
and able to turn it around and wrap up the game. And Skirt's going to take that one 3 1. What a, like, a very like back and forth ending because you start on one side of the stage. Skirt is getting burnt by a very excellent use of up B. All of a sudden, they're popping, they're flying around the stage, and it turns into a whole different scenario once they're over there. And then Lisa Skirt's so getting that up bear all the top platform and wrapping that up. So Skirt's are going to move on to winner's semis. And yeah, looking, whew, looking real close.